Hey, Roberts kiddos, this is Mr. Helmick, your principal, and I am here today to, to read a story to you. So the story I want to read to you is called the, the Survivor Tree, and this story is inspired by a true story. So what that means is that this book, um, it, it has what's in it is, is truthful. It, a lot of this happened, and September 11th is a day in, in the United States history, you know, where we all live here in the United States. Um, almost 20 years ago, something really sad happened on that day. We, we had um, a lot of loss on that day, but this, this story is, is about a tree that survives that, that really sad day. So I want to share that with you right now. And I, I miss coming to your classrooms, but wanted to still have the opportunity to, to read this book to you. For more than 20 years, a calorie pear tree lived on the World Trade Center Plaza in New York City. On September 11th, 2001, the Twin Towers collapsed near her, covering her in debris. The tree lay under the smoking rubble for a month. Then one day, some of the workers at the site spotted a few of her green leaves showing through the gray concrete and ash. Just like our country, the tree was scarred, sad, and in shock. But over time, and with great care, she recovered, and this is her story. The workers carefully uncovered the tree. They saw that most of her limbs had been cut off and only a few roots remained. Her trunk was scarred and burned, but her green leaves gave them hope that she could be saved. During the ride on the truck to the nursery where she would be cared for, the tree listened to the sounds of the city get quiet until all she heard was the sound of the truck's motor. She was a little scared. Everything was changing. Everything was different. You can see the skyline of New York City there in the background. It's disappearing as she, as the tree here, is being taken away. On a chilly spring day some 20 years earlier, the tree had been prepared to move to her new home, the World Trade Center Plaza. She liked it, and she was excited as she made the trip on the red truck to the spot where she would live. The tree tried to hold on to those happy memories and good feelings because she was still feeling scared as she arrived at the nursery. A nursery is a place where trees are taken care of. Once she was there, the nursery workers placed her in a hole, put special fertilizer around it, and then made sure the soil was good. Richie, the city park worker, came to her and looked at her broken branches, the gash on her trunk, and the ash that still covered her. He saw how very hurt she was and hoped that she would live. Richie reached out a hand and laid it on her trunk. I'll do all I can to help you get better. All I can do to help you heal. To make her feel at home in this new place, several workers arrived the next morning. And they put up some stones around her that reminded her of the big buildings that surrounded her before. There's Richie with the tree, and you can tell that tree is really rough looking, but there's hope. Yes. After winter, a little snow, spring arrived in the nursery. The ground softened, the air started to warm, and the nursery began to come alive. Richie visited the tree every day. Some days, he carefully pruned her, cutting away the damaged parts of the limb. He knew that she would get better. And over time, even a bird made its home in the branches. Life was beginning to happen again in the tree. Later that week, Richie spied green buds forming on the tree's branches. His heart filled with joy because he knew at that moment the tree would survive. You see the buds coming on the branches? All that green is hope. For us in this tree. Many years ago, the spring day on a plaza, people would 
eat lunch underneath the tree or write stuff in their journal or just listen to music. During the spring days, the tree witnessed just a lot of positive things happening. Friendships formed underneath the tree. A few years passed at the nursery and the tree continued to heal and get stronger every day. Summer arrived. Summertime at the nursery was hot, but not as hot as it had been as the plaza. The tree's fruit had come in, small round red berries that looked more like crab apples than pears. The birds came in early in the morning to see them. The bees were around the tree. There was hope. Summertime in New York City can be very, very, very hot. Seasons came and went, and a few more years passed at the nursery. The tree was much stronger and taller now. Another fall arrived. The tree welcomed the cool air and the winds that rose softly. One day, a New York City firefighter came to visit the tree at the nursery. He approached her slowly, removed his hat. With tears on his face, he whispered, I know it's been hard for you. It's been hard for all of us, but I want to thank you so much for making it, for surviving. It means so much to us. There's the firefighter. So grateful that the tree is surviving. The last winter the tree would spend at the nursery finally arrived. The tree was 30 feet tall, strong and healthy. The scars on her trunk were less visible, but she knew they were there. She knew all along she, she had gone through difficult circumstances, but had come so far. You can see that this tree was ready to come alive. You see the branches have grown so much. During the trees last week in the nursery, Richie came to see her. Some workers will be coming for you tomorrow to take you back to the World Trade Center to live at the 9-11 Memorial Plaza, Richie told her. You mean so much to so many people and everyone is excited to see you. He said his goodbyes to the tree. Workers were excited to welcome the tree back to the World Trade Center Plaza. They had put her back where she belonged. By springtime, the branches were once again full of blooms. You could see that the tree was not only alive, but was flowering and beautiful once again, back where it belonged at the memorial of the 9-11 Trade Center area. The end. This story, the survivor tree, it's a great story for all of us because here, here's, here's the truth. Sometimes sad things happen, but the beautiful thing about this story is that even in hard times, good can come out of that. And so like the survivor tree, I hope that you guys, as you remember September 11th and learn more about that, that you know that in difficult circumstances, hope can rise, positive can happen. And so whether you are one of our kindergarten students or first grade students or any other grade level that have listened to this story, it's been good reading it to you. I am glad whether you're a virtual learner or an in-person learner that you got a chance to be able to enjoy the survivor tree. Take care, guys.